I know I have, and I bet you have, experienced spending a lot of time, frustration, energy, trying to get somebody to open their mind when they have a closed mind. And oftentimes our strategies create more division and more closure between us. So in this video, I'm going to share with you five keys to open the door. I'm Karen Valencic. I am the founder and author of Spiral Impact, the power to get it done with grace. And I've worked with leaders and teams for over three decades in the areas of conflict mastery, collaboration, and innovation. So here we go. Key number one out of five is your intention. If your intention to open their mind is so you can change it, you better watch out because they will get that. There's a lot that happens there non-verbally that people really get. So shift your intention to one of wanting to understand how they see the situation and you'll get a very different result. So if you're not interested in how they see it, perhaps, perhaps you're close-minded too. Key number two out of five ask open-ended questions. Don't be making statements, ask open-ended questions which have an, a, a bigger answer than yes or no. So questions like tell me more about how you see this or what's your experience with this. So you really want to get off of your position and really begin to understand how they are seeing the world so you can open this door and see what's inside their door. Key number three out of five get centered. This comes from my martial arts practice and it means become the calm eye in the storm. Be present. Become neutral. Because so much of our communication is nonverbal that people will feel if you've got a push or pull going on. So become centered and present and that will help you with everything else we've talked about so far. Key number four out of five, be quiet. A lot of times, and I've witnessed this, we really want to hear what somebody has to say. We want them to share what's in their mind, but the fact is, is that we're talking too much. Ask those open-ended questions and then be quiet. Let them talk. Just think about how much quiet's needed if you're trying to pick an old-fashioned lock. You gotta be present. You gotta be quiet to listen to not just what they're saying, but to their non-verbals as well. Key number five out of five. This also comes from my martial arts practice. Avoid being face to face. When you're face to face with somebody, it tends to create a defense and more of a positioning thing, which keeps their mind, which keeps their mind closed because they're protecting whatever it is that they think. So and just like when you open a door, you have to move to the side to be able to get in it. You want to be at an angle that's oblique or go for a walk with somebody or go for a drive with somebody to be able to open their mind and understand what's going on. Also, I'm not a fan of the term lean in. You know, lean in is a way of getting people to shut up because it feels threatening. So I don't care how many books have been written about or blogs, but don't lean in because again, that pushes somebody and when people feel pushed, they push back. Those are my five tips. Give them a whirl, let me know how it goes. There's a lot of nuance in this too. And if you'd like to learn more, join me in one of my complimentary masterclasses at karensmasterclass.com. And until next time, thank you very much.